Today we're going to learn how to simplify radicals with variables. To do this, we're going to apply the multiplication property of square roots again. We are going to separate the numbers from the variables using this property. Then we're going to continue by simplifying the number as we did with simplifying radicals in the previous video. We will talk about how to simplify the variable in a minute. So for example, to do the square root of 24 times a squared, we're going to separate using the multiplication property of square roots to the square root of 24 times the square root of a squared. Please take a minute and find the simplified version of the square root of 24. Make sure you pause the video. We recall that the biggest perfect square root that goes into 24 is 4 by starting at the end of our list of perfect squares and dividing into 24. We can use the multiplication property of square roots to break up the square root of 24 into the square root of 4 and the square root of 6. The square root of 4 is 2, and our final answer so far is 2 root 6. Now let's take care of that square root of a squared. To do the square root of a squared, we're going to look at the radical symbol. It turns out the radical symbol has a number that is called the index. But we don't normally write it for square roots. We know that the square root symbol means that we are going to find a value times itself twice that is equal to the radicand, or the value that's under the radical. So in this case, we are looking for something times itself twice that gives us a squared. In order to do this, since the exponent is even, we are going to divide the index into the exponent, and the resulting power will be our answer. So 2 divides into 2 one time, and we end up with a to the first. So the square root of a squared becomes a, and our cleaned up pretty answer is 2a root 6. Pause the video so you may copy the notes. So let's take a look at another problem. How about the square root of a to the eighth? There's no numbers this time. We're just going to focus on the variables. The square root of a to the eighth is, has an even power. So again, we're going to look at that index of 2, divide the 8 by 2, and get our answer is a to the fourth. Now you try. The square root of a to the 56. Pause the video. Write your answer. Since 56 is even, we know we're going to divide the index into 56. So 56 divided by 2 is 28. So we get a to the 28th as our answer. So the rule is if the power under the radical is even, divide the exponent by the index, and write the new power. Pause the video, copy this in your notes.